All right, challenge time. So in this hands-on challenge, we are going to create a method for inserting accounts, okay? That would be pretty straightforward. So let me just close my <clears throat> playgrounds and we are going to go launch hands-on orgs and then scroll down here again. Go to my developer beginner trailhead playground, launch that one. And I'm gonna close that list there. And I'm going to launch my developer console from here. Boom. Okay, so let's create a class called account handler. All right, copy the name back here, file new file new apex class account handler boom come on it's taking a few seconds just to create a class which is a, just an empty class there all right and then the apex class must have a public static method called insert new account so a method public static it returns an account okay so you say account right and then the name is this oops wrong one there <laughs> the name is this insert new account and then i'm what Copy this text, please. Copy. Why is it doing that? There. Right? In setting your account, it accepts a parameter string account name. And then, boom. That's the method. It's going to return the account, which is, um, well, we haven't have that yet. Let's return, let's not do that yet, okay? So, we are going to pass the account name into the method, okay? Now, we are going to say account, new account, right? Equals new account, and then name equals account name okay do that and then you're going to insert the new account insert new account and then you actually return new account okay what just happened here so first we declare the class it's a public static and the object is account and then the name insert new account and then we pass the string the account name into here all right so this is the statement uh, where we instantiate the account with a variable new account right we say new account account um, and then the name is the account name which goes from here and then we insert the account and then we return it right that's pretty basic but then we want to make sure it's also catching an error if it doesn't if it doesn't execute as expected so the method must also accept an empty string whoa catch the failed dml catch the failed dml and then return null if it's an empty string all right so let's go ahead and check out our example for the try and catch method here um, we have an example 
the try and catch method here. So catch, okay. So the catch DML exception, and we call it E, and then system dot debug a DML exception has occurred. E get message, okay. So first we try this, right? We try and then we catch, okay. So I'm just gonna copy that and flip back here. And I'm going to try this, try this block here, this whole block, oopsie, curly bracket, and then catch the exception. Okay, I'm gonna command A, shift tab. Okay, command A, shift tab. So I'm gonna save this guy. Missing return statement. Oh, return new account here and put it outside there on here. If it's error, you return null. Okay. So, what's going on here? So, first try this. Try this insert. All right. Variable does not exist for new account. Then and yellow. What? Oh, I don't have a semicolon there. Okay. So one simple missing semicolon. It's gonna mess up the whole thing. So eleven variable um, does not exist for the new account here. Because we just tried there, right? Uh, oh, that's wrong. Put it here. So do that. So if this happens, you return the new account. If it doesn't happen, you just return null. But get uh, catch the whole thing there, okay? So I'm going to save this guy, all right? So if we give this a try, so if I do insert new account, okay and then pass the string so i'm going to test this okay file and uh, no debug open execute anonymous window or control e i'm going to clear this out so we are going to try this account handler handler class okay so i'm going to say account handler dot okay insert new account and then the account name i'm going to name boom test all right boom test if i execute this whoops keep forgetting the semicolon okay execute that and then i'm going to check my boom test it should create on here my boom test account. I'm going to go to my accounts here. There we have it. It created successfully. All right. Boom test. So if I go back here, now I'm going to try and pass. I'm going to open my and am pass an empty string or nothing. Okay. It should add a right with the catch DML here. Okay. Execute. Method that does not exist, um, insert new account, let's try like that, empty string, boom, and then debug only, DML exception has occurred, insert failed, required field missing, okay? So that is working as expected, so this is our final code. So this is the class name, account handler. Then you do the method. The method is public. It's a static method. It's an account object. And then the name is insert new account. It's accepting an account name parameter, which is a string. And then once you pass that, you try this, right? You say um, a new, instantiate new account account the variable is new account 
equals new account. The name is account name from here, okay? From here. Whatever is passed here is going to be here, right? Pass and then insert new account and then return the account, right? Then you catch it. If it doesn't happen, catch it and then return no. Just what, what happens if it doesn't execute, you want to know. So you catch the exception there. So there we have it. I'm going to save it again. And we are done with the challenge. So understand how this works, okay? Don't just type it and then not understanding it. So you have to understand it. First, you declare the class. This is the class name. It's a public class. And then you declare the method, which is a public method, right? And well, I just reiterate myself. I just repeated myself. So that's basically it. And we are going to check the challenge now. Flip back here. We should be ready to go all the way down to the bottom. And I am going to check challenge to earn 500 points. Bada bing, bada boom. We have just completed our Apex Basics and Database Manipulate Records with DML Challenge. I will see you on the next video. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.